In this lesson, we're going to continue to discuss character formatting. If you'd like to follow along, go under the file menu to open, and in the sample files folder, scroll down to 0603, hidden options for character formatting, and just click open. There are lots of options under the options menu of the character panel. So many that they're going right off the bottom of my screen in this recording. So I'm going to take the character panel and undock it and bring it up to the top. Now I'll be able to see all of those options in this recording. The first option I just selected, which is hide options. I already mentioned that if you can't see all of the options in a particular panel, chances are you have to go under the options menu to the very first listing, which is show options. What else is under the options menu? The first thing is open type, and we will be talking more about this in an upcoming lesson. The same is true of underline options and strike through options. These are where your custom settings are for underlines and strike throughs. We'll be talking about that as well in an upcoming lesson. Getting back towards the top, there's all caps, small caps, superscript, subscript, underline, and strike through. And the good news is you don't have to go under the options menu of the character panel to apply these various formatting settings. In the control panel, if you're in the character formatting controls, you can see what I call the big T options because they use a big T in the symbol for those various features. Why don't I scroll back up to the top of my document and just select some text. How about in the first line the word all caps? And I'm going to click the two large T's, which is all caps. In the next sentence, why don't I select the whole sentence and use small caps, which is going to make all of the lowercase letters small caps and all of the capital letters are going to remain caps, full-size capitals. Why don't we go down a little bit further and select the register mark, and I'm going to make that superscript. Now, of course, with open type, I don't need to do that. It's already small to begin with, unless I'm using it in a headline and I want to make it even smaller. Let me undo that. Superscript can be used as part of a mathematical formula, like pi squared and you can see the 2 has been made smaller and raised up. But in chemistry, for water, which is H2O, I might want to use subscript. And you can see it's moving it down and making it smaller. Let me select the words default underlines, and I'm going to add an underline. Now, there's always been a problem with default underlines. They're way too heavy, they're too thick, and they're too close to the baseline of the type. They're practically right on the baseline. We're going to be talking about custom underlines in an upcoming lesson. And the same thing is true of strike through. If I apply a default strike through, I don't know when I'm ever going to need to cross out words, not unless I'm doing editing and I'm not going to do this sort of thing in InDesign. But there are some incredible uses of strike throughs if you're using the custom settings, and we'll talk about that in that upcoming lesson. The next thing under the options menu is ligatures. If I select some type and go under that options menu, you can see that ligatures is actually checked. Well, what are ligatures? There are certain combination characters or glyphs that are used to replace certain combinations of characters, like for instance an FF or an FFI or an FL or an FI, and you can see that the characters are actually redrawn to create better spacing between those characters. Like for instance the I, let me zoom in a lot closer, the I does not have a dot above it in this ligature. Instead of having a dot, it's using the ball of the top of the F as the dot of the I. So the spacing looks a lot better. Let me show you what happens when I turn ligatures off. You can see the spacing is really not all that good. 
and the I, the dot of the I, is almost bumping right into the F. It's almost as if you can't get these characters close enough together to make the spacing equal to other character spacing. So that's where ligatures come in. If I check ligatures, it's going to reapply ligatures. Well, why would you ever have to turn them off? Well, there are people who don't like ligatures. And so if a client or a boss doesn't like ligatures, you can actually turn them off under the options menu. Let me zoom out a bit. I'm going to hit Command-0 or Control-0. OpenType has even more ligatures. So there may be like a capital TH combination or an FJ combination where the dot over the lowercase j is actually the ball of the F or an FFJ. And there's even more depending on what typeface you're working with. Let me zoom into the width of my page. One last thing that I wanted to talk about under the options menu of the character panel. I'm going to select my name in this particular paragraph. And I'm going to go under the Options menu to No Break. It's never going to let InDesign break my first name and my last name apart. This is actually a good way to deal with names. And some people never like to see a first name on the line above and the second name on the line below. So you can actually make it so it never breaks. There are other ways to make words not break. We'll be talking about them in upcoming lessons, but when it comes right down to it, they're nowhere near as good as no break under the options menu of the character panel. We're going to continue to discuss character formatting in the upcoming lesson.